fuck the fuck, here come closer. You the loper, hands are kind of sober. Shoot my friend here with a cobra. Free up my bro, that's a nova. Yo, what's good? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you ain't, Welcome back, bro. I'm Jay, and in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down a beat I made with Russ Millions and Tion Wayne in mind. If your name is Patrick and you live under a fucking rock, they're two London-based drill artists that are pretty much at the forefront of the drill scene right now. Anyway, let's get into it. For the melody, I used a sample from a pack me and my boy Calm Beats just dropped called Scourge. Link in the description, it's free. But let me break it down for you real quick, because it's simple, but it slaps. So I started off with this string sample. Next I chopped another piece out of the sample, laid it over the first piece and pitched it down a bit and I applied some kickstart. Next, I fired up contact, went to the Vandria bank and used one of the pads. This one's really nice and lush. And applied some kickstart, set that to 1-4 and also applied some pancake so that it jumps from left to right. Then I chopped up both layers of the strings that I had, laid them over with the pad. Finally, I automated on some half time, set that to one bar and removed a bit of the low with these little band settings here. All right, that's it for the melody. Let's hop into the main beat. All right, so going into this beat, I wanted to match Russ and Tion's style. So I wanted to make the percussion as bouncy as possible. So I'm gonna show you all the perks together, then break down each layer for you. All right, so layer one, super simple drill hi-hat pattern. I also made these notes here at the end, pan. Next, I added a secondary layer of perks just for some more bounce. I played with the velocity a little bit and also cranked up this knob here to give it a little echo and delay. With both those layers combined and a super simple snare pattern, this is what it was sounding like. sounding cool but I felt like it needed a bit of extra sauce just to give it more bounce. I went ahead and threw in this little Timbo perk. If you want to get this perk for yourself, I got it from a FLP from this guy on YouTube called Shadow. He makes these really sick experimental drill beats so go check him out after you're done watching this and you'll be able to download it as well. But yeah, once I threw in the little Timbo perk repeating every few bars, I got this. Just that shit alone added so much more bounce. Next, I used the Seraphim 808 from my free kit, Rebirth. Also used the little FL Studio preset that came with it as well. If you guys want to get your hands on that, link's also in the description. See the pattern's quite simple and there's not like a bunch of rolls going on everywhere. If you listen to any Tion or Russ, usually the 808 patterns on their songs are quite simple just so that the beat has a bit more space. So that's what I decided to do with this one. Next I threw in a kick, pitched it down to A sharp as always, cranked the velocity all the way up. Then I threw in a couple perks to give the drums more impact. Next I threw in a shitload of effects and risers just to add some more tension to my drums. For example, I added this breath riser just before the drums hit. This gunshot when the drums hit. This whoosh perk just before the kick hits. And this other riser just before the 808 hits. And all together. Next I throw in a little grind bass. This is the pattern that I came up with, making sure that I panned each note manually from left to right. why I made my main 808 patterns quite simple so that I could do shit like this and it wouldn't sound too messy. Also as you can see with the grand bass I kind of played with the timing of it. So with these notes here they kept quite short but these notes here I lengthened them a bit just to add some more rhythm and complement the main 808. In terms of variation to the beat I didn't do nothing too crazy. Start the first verse I delayed the snare coming in. And at the start of the second verse, I delayed the main count snare pattern coming in. 
Next, to test if the beat would work, I grabbed these Russ and Tion vocals online off of YouTube and just EQ'd out the lows. You can kind of hear the perks in the background, but with all the other drums playing, you can't really notice it. The intro, I just threw in our tags and slowly introduced different layers of the perks, but I didn't have them all playing at once just to create some tension. And I also made sure none of these perks were playing just before the drop, just to add some more suspense. And here's the full beat with the vocals added. And that is it for today's video guys As always thank you so much for watching If you find any value in the video consider dropping a like If you don't want to miss my next video consider subscribing And hitting the little bell notification as well Now that you're done watching the video If you want to learn how to make stank face worthy beats Like 808 Mellow Consider watching this video next Just fucking click it, man. <laughs>